And so this episode, we're going to go through how to get some very good starter mods, including Serration, Hornet, Strike, and some other things for our weapons and Warframe. In addition to that, we should be unlocking Venus as well. Now, when it comes to getting some of these early mods, the best place you're want, going to want to come to is Cambria. I'm probably going to do a video for how to get Serration. A lot of people do look for it. And if you picked Vault, this is going to be a boon right now because this is going to be a rush mission. We're going to want to get through this rather quickly. Is to break so this is a spy mission, so you can see we have three objectives here. We need to get to each of the objectives. Um, get to like a, a specific control panel which will unlock like an identified item. If we get all three, and that's what we're going to be aiming for, uh, then we have a 10, well not a 10% chance, we will get um, a fairly decent mod usually. Each of them have like a 10% chance of dropping. There's 10 different mods we can get and all of them are rather useful. There are other rewards as well, so I'm probably going to cut in and out of where we're doing. As you can see, I'm doing right here. As you are moving around, we want to be progressing towards the objective as quickly as we can, but as we pass enemies, we're just going to slash at them. Now, we've reached the first objective here. If an enemy sounds an alarm whilst we're inside, a timer is going to start, and that can potentially fail this specific objective. Now, that's got two problems. First, it means we can't get all three, so we can't get the best rewards. And the second one is, it's going to reduce the affinity that you get from doing this. You'll see when we get this done in a second, we actually get quite a good amount of affinity just for unlocking the terminal that you can see just ahead of us. There's one of three types of puzzles. It's always the three same puzzles, but it can be in a different order. Is there anything something he hasn't seen yet? It's good. So we're going to go up here. Yeah, they can be in a different order, but we'll keep all three of them in to get the first one done, second one done. And down here, we're going to be shot at, it's probably bad. That'd be quick. This one here usually has a sensor, make sure you do that. Otherwise, um, as you try and go through the door, the alarm's going to sound. Then we can get inside and do the final one. You see pop over there, 4,200 affinity. That's like multiple kills and missions worth of affinity right there. So that's going to help you to level up your Warframe, your gear and all this other stuff whilst we're also getting pretty good rewards. This really is probably the best early mission for just, in general, powering up. In the case, let's move over to B. If you now we're going to go ahead now, and get inside. I almost forgot to record it. there. Uh, so this one, this is the slidey water one. What we want to do, you want to slide down the water. Sometimes there can be beams in the water, so be careful. Once you get to this point, you want to jump up here into the grate. This grate always seems to be here, so don't worry too much about it. Unfortunately, we got unlucky here. Uh, usually that's not one of these scanner enemies. If that sees us whilst we're doing this, it's going to instantly sound the alarm. No, we got away with it. We're good. A clean extraction with no yeah, like that. Otherwise, that would <laughs> I could have really stuffed us over. That's fine. Now we can exit for C. Again, so now we're in for the final one. This one sometimes goes a little bit differently depending on how it decides it's going to lay it out. Basically, we're going to drop down a pipe and then we need to jump our way back up. There's something rather specific here that I need to make sure I point out, though. So let's go up here. Oh, we got seen. What was that? Data destruction is imminent. Oh, you were there. Damn. That's so unusual. That's an Exodus as well. Wow. Okay, so usually, if the alarm hasn't gone off, you want to jump through this bit. You can see this is usually where the alarm sets off. We've got plenty of time. It just means I'm not going to get the get the affinity. Be careful of the... Uh, <laughs> be careful of those. Be careful of the caught out. Right, so now that I've got more time, I'm going to show you something. I want, to, I want to come back to here just to make sure that I've showed something. We so, as you're making your way up, you need distraction. to not go through these doors, because this will set the alarm up, right? So just make sure you avoid those and go through the windows instead. Just wanted to make sure I double checked and said that. Now, uh, it's time for me to extract, but I'm probably going to cut in with something else in a second, because there are other things we need to be keeping an eye out for as we are going around. And I have a perfect example here. You see these dogs with the red eyes? We actually want to um, attack and kill these. Because these will drop companion mods, and we actually also want to attack and destroy the nest. The nest has a chance of dropping an egg. Oh, look at that. That was perfectly, amazingly lucky. Um, those eggs later on can be hatched into the Kubros. There are five different varieties. It's all completely look-based, which one you'll get. So you want to have quite a few of them, like at least ten, realistically. Um, they, they're going to be expensive. We can't do it right now, but just start collecting them now, and then you're not going to have to farm them later. Okay, so when it comes to the rewards from this mission, there are at least five that I would consider essential. These are Vicious Frost, Volcanic Edge, Hornet Strike, Serration, and the Evora Systems Blueprint. All of those are going to be really good. We can't build Evora for a long time. That's unfortunate. Having it now is going to be good. You're not going to have to come back for it. And Serration and Hornet Strike 
are going to be direct upgrades to your damage. Now, I don't have Vicious Frost yet. I did get um, Volcanic Edge for my Skarner, though, so my melee damage is now going to be awesome. And because we've done this, and we've managed to get some levels here, like I say, you don't necessarily have to go as long as me, but I'll definitely aim to at least get Serration for your main weapon. And because going through the junction requires that we have an upgraded mod, we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade Serration. So what I did just there, let me go through that again, because that's probably not very good explanation from me. You want to come into, you can do this either through the arsenal, or you can do it through the mods, but I find it easier through the arsenal, because then you can just go through the mods that you have equipped. So... Come on into the weapon that you want to upgrade. So we want to upgrade the Bratton for now. Uh, we can press X on the D-pad. I don't know what it is on the PC, but I press X. And that's going to take me to the modding station you can see here. But it's going to make it so that the installed ones, the ones that are installed on my rifle, are shown to me here, which means it's very easy for me to select this and then select this and start leveling it up. Now you can see that I already have 1,000 endo. After you've done a few rounds of this mission, and let's say you do 10, Maybe don't do 10 at once, that'll be boring, but you know, just do a few, it's all good. Like, you guys have fun as you do it, but just know that this mission is going to give good rewards. And that's how I've gotten all of mine. Okay, we can spend this endo to upgrade pretty far, actually. So we can get all the way up to plus five, and you know what? That is a really good thing to do. So we're going to do that. And as you can see now, this is going to give me 90% more damage. Obviously, the drain on my weapon capacity has gone up, but I really don't care about this right now. Oops, let me do that. Let's take that off. So we're going to continue to do this. Now to get more endo, there are many ways we'll like in the game to get it. endo. Now get right now, again. early in the game, Climb the best thing for us to do to get some extra if we decide we need it is to get rid of all of the flawed mods. I wonder if we can search for it. I haven't tried it before. Flawed. Well, because we don't want those really. We don't really want them. Uh, there's, there's, there might be like a use case for some of the... Some of the... Uh, where's the go button? Flawed. Yeah, cool. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to select all of these. These can all go. These will dissolve directly into endo. Oops, let me see there. Do all this. I want any of these. Maybe, maybe, like, you might keep continuity if you want something like... I just... I just can't justify keeping any of it. <laughs> uh, we're going to be replacing this as soon as possible. So you're never going to upgrade these anyways. So it just, it just might as well be gone. 3% 3, 3 just it's just useless to you. There we have an extra 190 to get used to this idea, when you have mods that you just don't need, just go on over here, get rid of them, that's going to be some extra endo. Let's see what that does for me, in terms of upgrading my serration here. Let's get more expensive. And you'll see, like, these last three get obscenely expensive, so just be aware of that. So, like, getting things to five and six is fine. Everything above that starts getting really high. So you want to try and aim for like the five mark. So of course, we can also upgrade some mods on our vault here. And again, because uh, we don't really have very good mods to use, we're just going to go with redirection. Just because I tend to go redirection because it regenerates. Health is also useful. But um, for now, this is the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to get some points on there. It's actually going to make us quite a bit more survival. Real nice. And with all of that done then, um, and I suppose we could also upgrade the Skarner, but I really don't have very much end <laughs> endo left. Do we have anything? Well, I do have enough. We could upgrade the Volcanic Edge. Why not? Which is really worth doing because it's a really good mod to have. Yeah, fill all that on. Lovely. Cool. So we're going to be hitting like a ninja now, let me assure you of this. And this should make it so that we can go through into the Venus Junction. We have four mods applied to a single Warframe weapon, yes. We have at least a rank two mod. Yeah, we're well over that now. And we have collected 20 mods because we went through Gaia. So, uh, not Gaia, Cavalry, I should say. So with that done, we're going to go ahead. We are going to go through the Venus Junction because it's after us to it. I'll show you guys how this works. It's actually going to be a mirror match because we're going to be facing off against another vault. So when you're feeling confident, Go ahead and press X. Get this fight on. This really shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, if you want some defense, like we could stick the shield down, pick that up. Where you going? Ah, set one up yourself. Because it's a vault. Come on. Slashing just works better. <laughs> 
Uh, this is one that a lot of people seem to like Excalibur more for, because the Excalibur's 4 is really powerful and can put Warframes down really easy. As you can see, nice and easy because we upgraded the scanner and we upgraded weapon damage on this stuff. We've got one last thing to talk about, which I'll probably do in the next episode, because this episode is going to be unlocking Venus. So uh, I will catch you guys again soon.